Now, then my brother's converted cargo trailer. What he did was he took a cargo trailer, which a lot of people call these, uh, what, stealth trailers, right? And he's a builder. So he, uh, he converted it so that he could use it for camping and using it for work as well. And I think he's in here somewhere. <sighs> Bro? Oh, you dropping deuces. Hey, bro, what's up, man? Can I get some peace? Oh, oh man. man. You know what? Dang, man. This is going to get rough, so I got myself a cameraman. Here you go, Riley. Let's talk through this place. Let me all right. the toilet first. Oh, all right. Let's drop myself down, man. We'll get to the bathroom in a minute. Let's treat spots. Okay, so basically he got himself a cargo trailer and yep. because you're a builder and uh, set it up. So talk about it. Talk about the bed, how you set this whole setup for your camping. Oh, we need. I need some place to get all of us in here. And so the only way to do that was Gilligan and uh, uh, Captain style with, with the uh, hammocks. <laughs> nice, nice. It gives a lot of room in here because a, a normal a normal cot would take up about to here. Okay. The hammocks are over yeah, here. Yeah, you did like bunks or something. Yep. Yeah. So the bunks would be out to here, and you wouldn't have a lot of room. And then you'd hit them, and this pushes out of your way if you're walking by. Right. Right. Now what I love though is how you hooked them up. Can you yeah, show us? Maybe on that back wall it's more lit. Go this is. Uh, these are uh, uh, shipping. Uh, brackets for okay. uh, uh, box trucks and uh, trailers and semis. Two men in a truck style. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So you got a uh, hook that hooks into there, and you can move them anywhere you want. So during the day, we move it over there. Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. They're That's out right. of the way. So you got more room during the day, and the and the sleep bags hanging there, and they don't they don't fall out. So it's all out of the way now. Yeah, now you got a lot of space. Yep. So brilliant. Can you still sit in this probably though? They, uh, they, they can, you, they you, can, you gotta tighten them up. Oh, if they wanna sit? You okay. tighten straps. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Very cool. And then you sleep back there on the uh, cot with on the, the cot. memory foam? Yep. Nice, nice. That Cause I'm an old fart, so I need I need something comfortable. Does that kind of serve as, a, as like a couch too? Yeah, the kids sit on it once in a while when they watch TV, when we have uh, um, one of those little DVD players, part okay. of the DVD players. Now this table I love because it can be up or down. Talk about that. I needed, we needed somewhere to eat and um, so I made a table that flips up and down and it needs to be out of the way when I put stuff in here. And now it's out of the way. During yeah. travel we can put stuff in here, we can put our bikes in here that's out of the so way. So that stays all the time. There's a picture, yeah. I'll show you a picture of uh, of when you had it loaded with windows and doors and stuff like that. It was doors and uh, 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 a shower unit. Yep, and then you just you can put all this stuff away. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's talk about the uh, the front end of this place, man. Well, that's where it, 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 I got a V nose so I could put everything up front and be out of the way when I had to get material on here and everything. Mm -hmm. So this is just a bungee that has a curtain on it. So when you go into the bathroom, you can have a little bit of privacy, and then. This is where the cooking, this is a little tabletop. You can move this over, this just sits on there. That's just oh, okay. a little bit of, bit of. And that's just for ventilation moving ventilation, around. Ventilation, yeah. And then, so this is where the uh, where I, I cook at, make pancakes for the kids in the morning. And then during the day, when we want food to warm up, we got a microwave right here. And then this is all our storage for our cups and, and dishes and whatnot. And you do your water up here, right? Correct, yep, that's where our water is. See, I love the idea. He had the idea of putting a water container here and then a cute little sink like down in here and I thought that would be pretty cool but you found this just works great yeah it just keeps it out of the way because if you sat down on the, on the commode you'd be hitting your head on it all the time I got you okay what do you do for um you just do an ice chest yeah just a cooler a cooler yeah. okay all right what's this with your power this is my uh I got a I got a plug down here and that plug serves a couple different purposes that plug is for electric heater when it gets cold out when we're camping in the cold and then it also Charges my batteries. Okay. To my uh, in, in the front, my my 12 volts. This is this is just a uh, battery charger. It goes through the floor into the battery, and then here's the there's the, the the wires to it right there. Okay, and you're you're experimenting with some solar lighting too. It's a it's a, a 12 volt uh, maintainer. Charges your battery. Oh, okay. So that's why I have these hooks right here on the walls, wherever the the sun's coming in at I can it says suction cups on it I can put it on my windows okay and then and then our, the cord runs over here to a 12 volt outlet that feed back feeds into the battery huh, okay, to charge cool. and maintain the battery when, when I'm not plugged in to uh, electricity very cool very cool <clears throat> I remember when you first got this thing and it was just uh, it wasn't insulated or anything and I think this was just tin up here so yes. you insulated the walls talk about that yep, insulated the walls and the ceiling uh, let's see if I can grab that this is the insulation that the trailer's uh, uh, insulated with. It's a paper, it's a foil-faced, double-sided 
uh, bubble wrap, they call it, I guess. And uh, you can buy it at any, any uh, uh, like Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, any, any store like Hiker that. Hiker tip. This stuff is super light, rolls up great. It's perfect to put mm -hmm. under your rear end yep. hunting, or if you're camping in the winter yep. or doing any of that, or just put it as, you know, down in your tent before you put yeah. your mat down, that yep. type of thing. And uh, so this just went on top of the, the trusses, the studs okay. that are up there. And then you know, the, the metal that's up there. Yep. I use a spray adhesive, sprayed the, the metal, and then put this on there and held it in time. So I can go ahead can and I put my, my uh, ceiling up and my walls. I took the walls down and did the same thing on those. And you went camping um, spring, break, spring break, Michigan, so it can get cold. You were in the yep. 30s Yeah, but I think at night it was down in the 30s. And yeah, we were really comfortable. Kids weren't complaining. Nope, nope, it kept okay. it really warm in here. Cool, what I like too is you have windows. Those weren't, those didn't come with it, right? No, there was no windows in this. And I could have got the slider windows, which I don't like slider windows because if you, if it's raining, you cannot keep your slider windows open. I want awning windows. They used to make these in the older campers, and they don't make them very much anymore. But I had to find this at a uh, salvage yard. The, these two windows at a salvage yard. They came out of a, uh, a camper that had over top of the cab. These were these. That's where these were because they're small enough, so I didn't have to cut my metal out to make this. I just oh, added okay. some metal in there and then, and then put them in. Nice, nice. And then you also put the ceiling fan in too. And then put too. the vent fan in too. Yep. And that runs off either battery or whatever. No, right? that runs off 12 volt. That's the only thing. Oh, only 12 volt. Okay. My lights, my LED lights, and my fan run off 12 volt only. Oh, okay. So you so, got to be drawing off of that. Yep. And this this draws in and out. It draws out and in, right? Out and in. Okay. Yep. Man, that's nice. It's that's really it. cool. Excellent. You want to go outside and check it out? Nope. Yep. Then I'll show you where the shore power is. I didn't want a hole in my camper or my trailer to go through where I could get mice and everything to come in there when the cord's hooked up. So I got this at a uh, local uh, RV place. It's a, uh, it's just got a male end. It's like a plug-in and outside here. So you just plug it in and that's how you, you power your, your get power 110 or one, I'm sorry. Yeah, 110 into the, into the trailer. And then I also wired up a plug on the outside for 110 for anything else that you want to do outside. And you do a lot of your cooking and everything Refrigerator outside. Refrigerator anything, if yeah. If weather's good and all yep. that stuff and everything, okay. Now, um, one last thing that he does, which I think is pretty sweet, is that you have a golf cart, uh, yes. affectionately named Mud Bud. It's jacked <laughs> up and pretty sweet, uh, but it fits in here. Yes, I can. I can drive Mud Bud. That's why I got the extra height on the on the trailer. I can actually drive it into this trailer. It just barely fits, but it goes right in. So you open up the doors. Everything goes down. The cot goes away. What you saw earlier in the first video, where it was hooked up against the wall up front, and then the the golf cart drives right in. I got ramps. All right, for those details people, t what type of trailer is this? What height, size, all that business, weight? This is a Legend trailer. It's a seven foot wide by 13 foot long, Vinos, okay. and it's all aluminum. The so it makes it lighter? Aluminum. It yes. makes it lighter so yep. you can... Uh, and it's got the extra height. I forgot okay. what it is, extra six inches of height from a normal one. Okay, excellent. If you want something that's gonna last a long time, I'd suggest getting an aluminum trailer like this and just, you know, do what you want with it. And you've got about it. how much into it? I've got five thousand into the trailer, and then about another three to four hundred dollars into the interior. All the stuff I've done, the insulation, the windows, the vent fan, cabinets, and cabinets, and um, crapper. Yep. Well, yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. I've had that for a long time. Right. So maybe it's a sweet. Bit. All right. I hope you like this video. If you did, hit like um, or subscribe, and uh, we'll be uh, cranking out some more. Take care. I'm gonna go uh, use that toilet. Okay. <laughs>